This screencast covers the material in Module 4, Lesson 5, where we solve word problems involving the division of whole numbers with answers either as fractions or whole numbers. There's quite a few word problems in the practice set and the homework. We're going to pass up on the, more, the, the simpler problems and go to the ones that are just somewhat more difficult or have some twists that might be a little confusing. Let's read. Julian has to read four articles for school. He has eight nights to read them. He decides to read the same number of articles each night. How many articles will he have to read per night? Let's start with a tape diagram. We know that the thing that is being divided up, or the things, are the four articles. So we'll label the whole four articles. He has eight nights in which to read them, so we need to partition our tape diagram into eight equal parts. Okay, so he decides to read the same number of articles each night. How much does he have to read per night? Well, since we have eight nights, there's one, our, our night here, one night. Should label that with a question mark. Okay, so we have to find out what this is. Uh, so we're going to use this format where we talk about units. Eight units because we have eight partitions to our tape diagram equals four. We want to find one unit. One unit equals four divided by eight. And that's the same as four eighths. We can simplify that to one half. So I'll make the statement. Julian needs to read one half an article each night. Let's look at the second part. What fraction of the reading assignment will he read each night? Well, the whole assignment is four. Okay, so we have to read all of these, but the assignment itself is one assignment. So what portion of the whole assignment does he read? Well, since he has one assignment, And he has eight nights. And he does the same amount each uh, night. The answer would have to be he reads one-eighth of the total assignment, the total reading assignment each night. Forty students shared five pizzas equally. How much pizza will each student receive? What fraction? of the pizza did each student receive. All right, so we need to, again, make a tape diagram. Well, we're going to partition this into 40 parts, but that's not practical. My hole is the five pizzas. And in order to do this, we're just going to take a shortcut. One, two, three, ellipsis. And uh, we'll have 39 and 40. So we have 40 partitions. So uh, how many units do we have? Well, if we look at the number of partitions, it's 40. So 40 units equals 5. One unit equals 5 divided by 40. That becomes the fraction 5 fortieths. So we'd write the statement, each student gets 5 fortieths of a pizza. Moving along. Lillian had two a two liter, two two liter bottles of soda, which she distributed equally among ten glasses. How much soda was in each glass? Express your answer as a fraction of a liter. So if we have two two liters, we have two times two liters for a total of four liters. That's our hole that's being distributed. We'll make our tape diagram. And we'll label the hole four. We'll partition it into ten equal parts.
and we want to know how much is in one glass. So again we'll use our procedure 10 units equals 4 1 unit equals 4 divided by 10 which equals 4 tenths. We could simplify that too but we're going to keep that in mind because there's a, another a part to this parts uh, B and C where 4 tenths is going to be uh, the most useful answer. We could say 2 fifths as well. Either one's correct and of course we need to make our statement. This problem continues with part B and it says nay, uh, express your answer as a decimal number of liters. Well, in part A, we had four tenths. And that's easy enough to convert to a decimal. Four tenths becomes four tenths, putting the four in the tenths place. The next part is express your answer as a whole number of milliliters. So we have four tenths liters equals four tenths times one liter, which equals four tenths times one thousand milliliters. When we do that, we move the decimal three, one, two, three places to the right, and we get the answer four hundred milliliters. The Kayla family likes to paddle along the Susquehanna River. They paddled the same distance each day over the course of three days, traveling a total of 14 miles. How many miles did they travel each day? Show your thinking in a tape diagram. Our whole is the distance of 14 miles. It's being partitioned or split over three days. We want to find out how far they traveled in one day. So three units equals 14. One unit equals 14 divided by three. And that's the same as 14 thirds we can now convert that, if we like, into a mixed number. We simply take 14 divided by 3, and it goes in 4. We get a remainder of 2, 4 and 2 thirds. So they travel 4 and 2 thirds miles each day. And again, we need to make that statement with our answer. B changes things a little bit. If the Kalis went half their daily distance each day, but extended their trip to twice as many days, how far would they travel? Well, let's consider that we have twice as many days. So they traveled three days originally, and we're going to multiply that by two because we're doubling it. So now we're going to travel six days. It also tells us that they travel half as far each day. So we need to take that four and two thirds, wrong tool, and we need to split it into two parts. That's pretty easy to do. We get two and one third. Okay, so they go, they're going to travel two and one-third miles a day for six days. So we have six times two and one-third. That equals two and one-third repeatedly added six times. Now we can find the sum of the whole numbers. We have six twos, that's twelve, plus how many thirds? We have six thirds. Twelve plus six thirds is twelve plus two 
equals 14. So they travel 14 miles. If they travel twice as many, many days, half the distance. And you can see that they travel the identical distance that they did in part A of this problem.